When the weather is nearly warm enough for Sophie to wear her new t-shirt and shorts, another letter arrives from Felix. Sophie can't open the envelope fast enough. To the world's best Sophie, 33 Elm Road, Mansfield, Ohio, USA. From your desert researcher Felix, presently in Central Australia, this is a boomerang. Should we open it, friends? All right, here we go. May 30th in the vast desert. Here is Sophie. Here's a great big kiss for you from the other side of the world. I've taken another boat ride and just guess where I've landed. It starts and ends with an A. The sun shines from morning till night and there's a real desert with orange and golden sand all around me. This place is very different from the rainforest. It doesn't even get a foot of rain in a whole year. Don't worry, I'm wearing my sun hat and I've got a full bottle of water in my backpack. In the middle of the desert, there's a rock as big as a mountain painted with pictures of animals. But I like the real cockatoos, kangaroos, and koalas much better. Did you know that koalas only eat one kind of leaf? The eucalyptus. Pretty fussy, huh? By now, you've probably guessed that I'm in Australia. I've seen animals here that are very unusual. Some of them are also disappearing. When people from other places brought their own animals here in ships, the new animals started taking over. Now there are so many rabbits here that in some places, it looks like the ground is moving but I'm the only one with a backpack. Some of the native Australian animals became extinct. Isn't that awful? Australia is so big that farmers take their own airplanes to go shopping. Kids who live in the country don't go to school. They have their lessons by radio or TV. I miss you terribly. Not even the kangaroos can change that. I'm coming home on the next flight, pretty dirty from the rainforest and all the sand in the desert. When I get home, you can give me a bath. I won't fidget, I promise. Until very soon, your Felix. P.S. There's a special street sign here for the kangaroos. I've sent you a picture of one. Look, friends, it's an attention crossing sign for kangaroos crossing the road. Hmm. Pretty sure here in New York, we don't have signs that look like that. Ours have deer on them. Sophie is so excited. Finally, Felix is coming home. He might be flying over the clouds already. Maybe mom knows how long it takes a jumbo jet to get from Australia to the U.S. Sophie runs out into the garden where mom is picking strawberries. Well, the flight takes about 24 hours, she says, as she picks an especially big strawberry for Sophie. That long, Sophie says with her mouth full. Then I have time to get my old baby bath out of the basement for Felix. Mom laughs and says that Sophie will also have time to make a welcome home sign for Felix because he will have to take a train ride before they can pick him up. Sophie looks out the window for dad 14 times before he finally gets home. She can't wait to go get her dusty little rabbit.